What's up guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. In today's uh, video, I'll be giving you a complete uh, breakdown of all the things that have taken place in the crypto markets with regards to uh, just the market dynamics and uh, just the sentiment shifts and also uh, some of the opportunities that have uh, kind of emerged over the last six months or so. I'll be looking at uh, just a complete market overview of uh, the global crypto market cap and also trading volumes. I'll be uh, getting into uh, whether we're seeing a repeat of history with previous bull markets or uh, a complete uh, divergence here. Uh, looking at uh, Bitcoin dominance, stablecoin uh, supply, uh, BTC supply on exchanges, and also all-time highs on uh, pre-halving uh, events in uh, other cycles, uh, the market trends and uh, sector performance, looking at uh, institutional and uh, retail dynamics, you know, really dissecting sector by sector. Uh, like I said, the stable coins, AI and big data tokens, uh, and uh, just going through some of the market sentiment uh, indicators and uh, a lot of what we're seeing as far as uh, regional and global metrics that you can uh, uh, get through different uh, um, providers and uh, researchers and uh, kind of summing it all up for you guys if you like the kind of content that you see on this channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe always head on over to our main site decentralized.news and get the best cryptocurrency exchange reviews DeFi platforms nft marketplaces anything and everything you'd like to learn when it comes to the crypto markets you'll find it there free resources free tools if you want to know what platforms i recommend check out the links in the description if you want to support the channel also check out the links in the description let's get into the whole recap of the first half of this year as far as uh, everything that goes on in the crypto markets and where you can expect us to be moving to by the end of this year. Let's get it. Okay, let's dive right into the global crypto market cap and the trading volumes. The first half of 2024, according to CoinMarketCap's research, saw a significant contraction in the global market cap, which now stands around the 2.3 trillion um, mark uh, at the time of shooting this uh, video marking. 14.5% uh, uh, decrease uh, in quarter two. Conversely, the 24-hour trade volume also in actually experienced a substantial increases, rising about 223% to 79.4 billion in quarter two, indicating that there was a heightened uh, uh, amount of trading activity, even though the market was in a downtrend. So this is always uh, kind of encouraging to see, especially if the uh, momentum was that we are already in a bull market trend. Coin market cap. The crypto fear and greed index currently ranging in the 40, 40s uh, range, signaling a kind of a market neutral sentiment. The sentiment uh, has been leaning towards the fear um, side uh, since uh, Q1, fluctuating between that 69 and uh, 47 um, low, uh, and now around that uh, range uh, as well uh, as of May. So Bitcoin continuing to dominate the market with a 53% market share. Uh, of uh, the overall uh, market cap, showing no signs that an out season is uh, definitely here. Liquidity has decreased by 18.5%, which is quite concerning, mirroring uh, uh, bearish trends uh, reminiscent of uh, September of uh, 2023. Despite obviously the bullish uh, macroeconomic drivers uh, like the anticipated approval of the Ethereum ETF and also uh, potential rate cuts in the US, if that all goes well by the end of the year, this kind of uh, max uh, um, uh, characteristics that uh, exhibit uh, something akin to a uh, bear uh, market overall, but uh, the market uh, is still in a uh, bullish trend. So if we're looking at whether history is actually repeating itself here, Bitcoin's dominance historically in early bull runs, Bitcoin does lead the market cap. It has since in uh, this, uh, increased also from 30, uh, 38.4% uh, in November 2022, up to 54% in the current market cycle. Stablecoin supply, same thing, uh, an increase in 19.8% thereabout in the supply of stablecoins uh, since uh, the start of 2024, which according to the research here suggests uh, capital influxes into the crypto markets and a bull market onset. BTC supply and exchanges, again, a decrease on the exchanges. It does seem uh, like something that we saw in the 2021 20, bull cycle. 
kind of meaning that people are taking long-term storage and uh, that could uh, kind of suppress uh, the liquidity and also increase the demand and uh, uh, push uh, prices of uh, cryptocurrencies, especially Bitcoin, up very soon. So um, in the case of looking at whether the cycle is repeating itself, uh, sometimes you can also look at the other side where the current market um, a kind of bull cycle uh, max drawdown has always been around the 18% mark, so significantly less than um, uh, previous cycles. And uh, again, people are attributing this to uh, BTC and uh, ETH um, kind of just uh, reaching that uh, maturation stage. All time highs, pre halving, something that's been defied this time around. We saw Bitcoin hit that 73 uh, mark before the halving. Uh, which was an unprecedented move driven uh, ultimately by these institutional flows of uh, uh, money through the spot uh, ETF in uh, Bitcoin. So when we look at the market trends and also just the sector performance, institutional and retail dynamics in general, the bull market has uh, so far been driven by crypto natives and also institutional investors. About 17 billion in total institutional inflows, predominantly in Bitcoin, which took about 16.7 billion of that. Retail metrics, Google searches and uh, trends and things like that with crypto YouTube subscribers indicating that uh, retail participation is still very, very low. We don't see a lot of that. While 89% of sectors actually experienced a negative market change, there were a few sectors that did see positive growth in Q2. And this was the stablecoin sector and the AI and big data token sector in the stablecoin sector bolstered by our projects like Athena and Lister, notably uh, Tether's 4.2 billion profit in Q1 highlights also just that profitability of the stablecoin market at the moment. Most uh, popular coin market cap categories at the moment, meme coins for the first time, meme coins became more popular as a crypto category accounting for 23% of the page views on coin market caps. So, you know, people are really into their meme coins. Solana's popularity also going up, the ecosystem gaining a lot more attention than Ethereum, signaling its growing prominence despite not yet obviously dethroning Ethereum and still facing outages uh, quite regularly. Top coins by category, Solana meme coins are dominating, indicating a speculative a rush. Of course, Ethereum ecosystem as well, focusing on real world assets, mostly in AI distributed computing, and also emphasizing practical blockchain applications. When we look at the regional user trends, countries like Brazil, India, Indonesia, showing uh, increase um, an increase in their crypto activity, participation driven by the meme coin centric market environment, traditional strongholds of crypto like the US and UK, seeing a decline actually in market share there. And when we look at layer one smart contracts, market cap about 695 billion thereabouts, down 3% uh, quarter on quarter, with Ethereum holding about 62% of uh, the dominance in the layer one contracts. Network activity is Solana leading with about 1.6 million active daily addresses. So transactional revenue, Ethereum generating about 2.7 million in daily revenue followed by Solana, which is about the 900K mark. We look at the uh, layer two landscape, Arbitrum and base lead in total value logged in gains uh, with uh, 8.2 billion and 6.8 billion respectively. So base networks surpassing Arbitrum in user activity due to Coinbase's smart wallet launch as well. When we look at cross-chain bridges, quite interesting circles. CCTP leading with the 15.6 market share, indicating a diverse competitive landscape there. CMC listings, research and insights that we can look in, into here, polit, uh, policy uh, politics and policies as well. The crypto industry seeing a sizable uh, sizable um, kind of uh, political influence kind of uh, this time round significant spending planned for the 2024 elections by partisan support for crypto friendly reg legislation also changing stance from the Biden administration uh, signaling uh, that uh, growing strong political engagement from the crypto <laughs> folks ETFs over 1 million a Bitcoin are now held in ETFs which is quite crazy attracting 28 billion in additional Inflows, Ethereum ETFs approved in May 2024. Um, 
have also had significant interest reflecting that grow, growing institutional adoption of the crypto assets. But in general, first half of 2024 has seen a dynamic period for the crypto market, characterized by significant institutional inflows, evolving market sentiment, and also the rise of stable coins and AI as a uh, really a thriving sectors, despite obviously the bearish trends in the market, the market is showing good base as far as resilience and ongoing innovation laying the ground work obviously for future growth and adoption and uh, just uh, kind of uh, mirroring what we've always seen uh, pre um uh, bull uh, parabolic phases of uh, the bull market cycle and again the uh, kind of uh, coincidence or the intersection of that people are hoping in next year uh, hopefully or at the end of this year we're going to start to see uh, loosening in uh, monetary policy and uh, just uh, uh, greater liquidity injections into the economy in general. And obviously, that will um, mean that uh, we'll see the DXY or the dollar continue to trend downward and uh, um, we will see risk on assets uh, shoot up and uh, hopefully we'll enter a, a really good period in the crypto markets then. But I uh, just wanted to break down the research that CoinMarketCap has been able to put together. These are some of the insights. Just wanted you to be up on game and to let you know not to really lose hope and faith in what's coming next. Okay, make sure you stay tabbed in, go to decentralized.news, learn about crypto, get free tools, free resources, download my books, DeFi Millionaire at DeFi-Millionaire.com. Free download if you want to learn about decentralized finance. Also, my other books are linked down below. My favorite wallets, my favorite exchanges, everything and everything you need to learn. Let's go get it. Let's make sure we are ready when the good times do come around. Peace and love.